Hi there, Dave Nason here again. This time I am taking a look at the Fantasy Premier League game. This is for the English Premier League, uh, which kicks off again for this season on the 13th of August, next Friday as I record. But of course you can join the game late, but uh, it's most fun if you uh, join from the start. It's a massively popular game, about 10 million people I think or more than that even play uh, most seasons. So uh, it is something you may have friends and family and things who are who are playing it and uh, you want to get in on it. So I'm going to show how to access the game on your iPhone with voiceover. It is very accessible on the whole, a few little issues here and there, but for the most part, very manageable on the iPhone with voiceover. I'm going to show two things. I'm going to show the Premier League app itself, which has a fantasy football section in it. And I find day to day that's often the easiest way to manage the game but you can also use the website in safari and some things uh, work a little better in there or you can get a bit, a bit more information so i'll show a little bit of the website as well but uh, probably focus more on the app so i'm just going to quickly open the app store to show what app i'm talking about app store app store search back button artwork premier league official app image and illustration of a premier league official app heading so it's the premier league official app is what you are searching for it's a free download so just go get that in the app store and then you are good to go weather widget still again so i'm going to open the app now once it's downloaded to your phone on your home screen it's go it's called pl so pl obviously for a premier league pl PL Premier League heading and you've got a few tabs in here so down the bottom you've got um, a number of tabs selected latest button latest is basically news and you know up-to-date information around the Premier League itself not about the fantasy game so I'm not going to focus on that tab now but you can explore that if you want to get latest news from the league PL button PL is uh, another tab which is just more information um, around the league fantasy button we have the fantasy tab so this is where we're going to be spending most time we'll come back to that in a moment stats button stats is as a sound statistics more button and more and you may want to come here to sign up uh, originally so if i'm going to select this tab selected more and up right up the top of the screen one thing one of the things you'll find in this app sometimes is Flicking left or right won't always get you where you want to go. So sometimes just exploring the screen will uh, will be easier in certain circumstances. Um, but uh, we'll come back to that probably as we go. But here up near the top of the screen. More. Sign out button. So for me, I have a sign out button. If you are not signed in, of course, that button instead will be sign in or register. So you can select that and you can... If you already have an account from a previous year or you've set it up just now, then that will be a sign in button or but there's also an option to register in the app as well. So you just fill in all your details. It's a while since I did it, honestly, but my memory is that it is very accessible. You can also go to the website, which is fantasy.premierleague.com. So fantasy.premierleague.com. And if you go there, you can actually uh, sign up there as well. So I'm going to go back to the fantasy Spurs tab. TV, but fantasy button. Selected fantasy. And on this tab, you will also get that. Uh, if you are not already signed in, you will also get uh, a button telling you to either sign in or register. Now, uh, when you are signing up, by the way, you'll be asked to create the likes of a team name. Um, you'll also be asked to select your squad. Um, I'll come back to the mechanics of selecting your squad uh, later on. But... Um, on the website, you have an extra option, you have a thing called autofill. So if you want to create your account and come back and do it later, for example, uh, do your transfers later, or you just need a bit of help, you're not quite sure how to pick at the start, you, there is an autofill option where um, they will just give you players that fit into the budget. What you're doing is you're picking 15 players in total, which are made up of two goalkeepers, five defenders, five midfielders, and three forwards and you have a total budget of 100 million so every player has a price you pick your squad uh, has to have a maximum of three players from any one team so you can't just pick the entire manchester city squad for example you can only pick a maximum of three players from any one 
team and then each week you select 11 players to play and I'll come back to the rules again a little bit later. The only part really of the sign up process um, that I have found or the team management kind of process that I have found that I couldn't manage with voiceover was selecting your team's kit so if you wanted to play in certain colours or whatever but it's not a big deal at all I don't think too many people pay a huge amount of attention to it anyway but that's about the only thing apart from that I was able to uh, to manage it all quite easily so what I'm going to do now is take a look through this uh, this main screen of the app so this is the tab called fantasy within the Premier League app so we'll go to the top of the screen and uh, move our way down through it hyphen hyphen average hyphen your your score so at the very top it'll simply say your score hyphen that says hyphen now because the game hasn't actually started yet of course so we're starting next week normally speaking it will give you your score there average average hyphen and again there's nothing there but that's the uh, average score for this week which is always useful to know to know did i have a good week or not not just looking at your own score but to see was it a low scoring week in general or was it a high scoring week in general um it's uh, always interesting to know how you've done versus the average highest hyphen highest and that's often very high because somebody's got lucky and got all the right players in any given week and had an extremely high score pick team button then we get to the pick team button and i'm going to come back to that later that's one of the obviously key parts of the app transfers button and transfers again and that will be similar to the screen you'll use to pick your initial squad will be very similar to this transfers uh, section as well so i'll come back to those in a little bit fantasy premier league draft button fantasy premier league draft is a different game to be honest so you can select that and go in and check it out if you want but uh, that's not what we're looking at today the scout button the scout is quite useful so i'm going to select this fantasy premier league fpl back button um, particularly if you're new to the game but even if you're not you can find little tips in here so i'm going to go across the scout heading fantasy premier league fpl secrets how to create a mini wild card so that's a little story telling you how to uh giving you some kind of secrets some how to's i'll go again fantasy premier league fpl secrets picking the perfect captain picking the perfect captain fantasy premier league all you need to know for 2021 slash 22 fantasy another all you need to know so there's a lot of articles in here that you might find useful um, and they get updated through the season so there's some good ones at the moment for because we're at the start of the season for getting started but there'll be pieces of information in there or guides on uh, what people are thinking so um yeah back be button fantasy premier league back button a useful little resource back. fantasy premier league the scout videos button after the scout we have videos which is game week one back button kind of similar actually you've just got more information but in video form cc dimmed three minutes 48 seconds fpl experts ultimate game week one team so the fpl experts ultimate game week one team so that could be a useful video to watch now you might find and this will happen to you on twitter and things like that if you're following people sometimes people will share teams that they're working on or that you know squad their squad that they're kind of putting out there um to show people and often it'll be done as an image so you might struggle with that uh, that's the one thing i found on social media and things but um you know there's still a lot of information you can get out there as well um from people in more text and audio format as well game week back button so we'll go back. videos button so again those that the scouting videos are worth uh checking in and having a look at the scout button videos button official fpl podcast button there's an official podcast i won't go into it but and you can also find that on um you know apple podcasts google podcasts spotify and so on um or you can get it through this app or that's a weekly podcast where they have some um, pundits going through the game fixtures and results button they get fixtures and results this is game week heading very useful now when you're picking your team and your squad you can see what matches your players have upcoming but this can be a great way to just see what are all the games next week or the week after and particularly when you're making transfers you might want to look two three four weeks ahead if you're thinking of buying somebody you want to see okay who are they playing over the next few weeks or you might want to think you know who, who's going to be my captain over the next little while and again i'll come back to what that means but this fixture screen is really useful game week one button so we're at game week one now there's 38 game weeks um in the game so um, a game week isn't necessarily a calendar week sometimes you might have two game weeks in a calendar week or you might have a game week spread over 
two weeks, but a game week is when all ten, te- all twenty teams have played ten. You know, so ten fixtures is essentially a game week. At times during the season, they get moved around, so you might have what we call a blank game week, where you'll have no, um, no fixture for some teams. So there might be six games instead of ten games, and then another week you might have week what we call a double game week, where you'll have maybe fourteen matches or something like that. But in general, a game week is when all twenty teams have play and um, it's just it's one round of the game next week button you can press next week to move on to week two so next week i selected that previous week um, button game week two button game week two previous week button and there's a previous week button as next well. week button so very easy to use. saturday the 21st of august 2021 heading and then it gives me the fixtures for that week so heading for saturday liv 12 30 bur so that's LIV 12.30 BUR. That means Liverpool or LIV. 12.30 is the time of the match on Saturday. Uh, that's the f- Saturday week, of course. Um, and then BUR would be Burnley. So you do get you have to get used to, if you're using the screens like this and on the pick team screen as well, the abbreviations for the names of the teams. Um, so it tends to be things like LIV and BUR. AVL 15, NEW. AVL is Aston Villa, NEW is Newcastle. Cry, 15, BRE. CRY is Crystal Palace, so it, and so on. So uh, there are other areas of the screen of the app where you'll get the full team names. And of course, you can use other apps to get fixtures as well. Um, but on this screen and on some other screens, you get these abbreviations. Back button. Back. So let's go back to the fixtures and results screen. button. So that's the fixtures and results. Uh, very useful. Fixture difficulty rating button. Fixture difficulty rating. To be honest, I've gone in here and it's. N- I haven't found it to be very accessible. Voiceover is just jumping around and saying numbers. I couldn't make a huge amount of sense of it. To be honest, so um, I tend to steer clear of that screen. Statistics button. Statistics is a useful. Position one. heading. Kane Spurs form point zero current price twelve point five million pounds selected twenty four point three percent GW zero points total points two hundred forty two points ICT three hundred fifty five point nine influence one thousand three hundred eighteen point two create six hundred fifty nine point one threat one thousand five hundred eighty five point zero GW trans in zero GW trans out zero bonus points forty GW one Man City home GW two Wolves away GW three Watford home button. So we got a lot of information there. Um, so this screen is a whole list of players. It's very similar to the screen you'll be on when you're selecting players for your squad, either that, whether it be your initial squad or making transfers uh, during the season. It's This is this screen that was showing you who were the top players. And it's actually showing us right now who were the top players last season, because obviously this season hasn't started yet. So Harry Kane was the top scoring player last season. It told me things like his price, uh, his form, which is um, generally, uh, oh, it's, it's how the player performed over recent matches, their kind of average score over the previous five or six games, I think it is. So that can be useful to see kind of how people are, are playing at the moment. Um, there were some other stats in there, which I don't entirely understand to be in the things like ICT and threat level. I'm not quite sure how they're calculated, um, but um, you might you might use those stats as well and then it tells you who their next three fixtures are against which again if when you're making transfers can be very useful to know so you can just swipe down through this Salah, liverpool the brewing man city fernandez manot form the brewing Salah, k player and you can go down through the list you can also filter this list so i've gone left from the squad uh, sorry from the list of players form current price selected gw total points ict Influence value button. So you got value is what's selected at the moment, actually. So it wasn't points, it's the top uh, value player. So the players with the highest price, if I select this. Round score button. The round score, which is zero at the moment. Form button. Form, as I discussed, was the um, how they played in recent weeks. Selected value button. Value. ICT index button. Influence button. Creativity but threat button. Percent selected by GW transfer in button. So you can source by this is basically the source so you have all those pieces of information as it's read there for Harry Kane but what you can do is go and source the list by something different so percent threat creative influence ICT selected form button round score but total score button say I want to instead of by their price their value I want to organize it by their total score selected Fernandez Manot player so Harry Kane is no longer at the top Fernandez Manot form 
point zero current price. Fernandez of Man United. Kane, Spurs, form. Harry Kane was second. Salah, Liverpool. Salah was third. So you can go, and go down through that list. So it's a, it's a useful way of seeing uh, how players are doing and um, getting those kind of stats for different players. And like I say, filtering it based on whatever you want, whether it's which players are on form, which players are of a certain value, are uh, the most expensive to the least expensive, or uh, their total score and so on. Back button. Um, Statistics. As I said, we'll see a similar enough screen to that one making transfers as well. Official FPL podcast button. Fixture fixture difficulty. Statistics. But set piece takers button. Set piece takers. Statistics. Set piece takers. But is again, it's useful enough. So in progress. Because you get points in the game for things like scoring goals and assists, it could be useful to know well who takes the penalties, who takes the free kicks and corners for a particular team. So if you, this is one way of browsing that information. Arsenal, button, he, Aston Villa, button, heading level five, so collapsed. We Brentford, button, Brighton, button, Brentford, button, heading level five, collapsed. I don't know much about Brentford, they're new in the league, so I'd like to know, okay, who, who are their set, set piece takers? Who would I, and therefore they might be useful players to have. Brentford, heading level five, so, expanded. So I select Brentford and it expands. Penalties, heading level three. Penalties. Tony. So we've got Tony. De Silva. And De Silva are their penalty takers. Direct free kicks. Heading level three. Direct free kicks. Jensen. Tony. Mbumo. Gatos. Corners and indirect free kicks. Heading Jensen. Mbumo. Jainold. Brighton. Button. Heading level five. So that's all of the set piece takers for Brentford. Um, of course, this is based on statistics from recent matches or over the, and over the season. So that list will change if different players are taking those set pieces. But... So that will be based currently, that will be based on last season, who took who is currently in their squad that took their set pieces last season. Back button. Very useful. Official FPL pod fixtures and fixture diff statistics, but set piece takers, FPL notifications. And uh, notifications that we won't go into too much detail, but if you want to receive notifications from FPL, you can toggle them here. FPL notifications, switch button off. FPL emails. FPL emails, switch button, off. So you may want to get them for more information into your in email inbox. You may not. Join leagues, button. Then we've got join leagues. So leagues are coming in different kind of forms. You've got sort of the overall, you're given an overall rank, but you can also have mini, and you can have leagues, kind of public leagues, like based on what country you're in or what team you support. But you can also set up what's called mini leagues where you create a league or your friends create a league and then you share a code and then everybody who has that code can enter this league. Um, so you can play against your friends, essentially. Um, you know, it's one of the most fun ways to, to enjoy the game is to have a mini league with uh, other people. So uh, you can select join league here. Join a league. And it opens a new screen. Selected. Invitational. Button. One so of two. Invitational. So that's the kind of league I'm talking about. The mini league. It's a private league just between the people who have the code to enter it. So that's an invitational league. Public. Button. Two of. Enter the invitational league code provided by the league admin. You can create your own league. Invitational league code. Text field. And there's a text field to enter the code that they've given you. Button. And then you'll press. Well, it's an unlabeled button. But uh, you'll select that and it will enter you into that league. Invitate. Enter the in public. Selected. Public. Button. Two. Of, selected. Off. Public. Two. Of two. Public. And a public league is one that anyone can enter. You can join up to 15 private leagues and three public leagues. Okay. So join a public league to play against a small, randomly selected group of players. Classic scoring. In a league of classic scoring, teams. I'll, I'll talk through more of that in a moment, but essentially, yeah, you can... Selected. Classic. Button. One, head to head. Button. 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 Select these different public leagues types so when you select these it will offer you different public leagues that you can choose to join you don't need necessarily to, to have been invited with a code or anything like that so um if you have any public or invitation leagues you want to join you go into that back button section pick team statistics set fb 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 join configure leagues by fpl button so we've got configure leagues by fpl so if you wanted to create a league this is where we will go so i'm going to double tap this Text field is at 14%. And this is actually opening up a web view, um, a Safari web view. So this will be the same whether essentially whether you do it within the app or you go to the website in Safari itself or any browser for that matter. Um, but you can do it from the app this way. 
Fantasy. Heading level one. Main. Landmark. So we're going to find the heading. I'm then going to go right. Home. Link. List. Stop. Pick team. Link. Transfers. More. Button. Leagues and cups. It's always sunny. Heading level two. And this is useful as well because this can be kind of a shortcut into the website without having to even go to Safari. If you want to just pop up the website. Create and join new leagues and cups. Link. So we've got create and join new leagues and cups. Renew your leagues. Link. We've got renew your leagues link as well, which is if you had some leagues already created last year and you wanted to just recreate them again for this year without going through the whole rigmarole of uh, setting up a new one, you can do that. Create a join new leagues and cups, link. So I'm going to create a new league. Create or join leagues and cups, heading level two. Join an existing league and cup, heading level three. So you can join an existing. Join league. invitational or public leagues and cups to compete against friends and other game players. Join a league and cup, link. So that's again to join. So that's doing exactly the same thing as we did within the app itself. When I selected the join leagues button, you can also do it through the website here. Or Create a new league and cup, heading level three. Or I can create a new one. Create an invitational league and cup to compete against friends. Create a league and cup, link. League partner EA Sports, create a league and cup, link. So I'm going to select that link. Choose a league type to create, heading level two. So I've got different league types as well. So as well as the fact that you've got the different league types in the sense of being private or public leagues, you also have classic and head-to-head -head leagues to choose from. Classic scoring, heading level three. So classic scoring. In a league with classic scoring, teams are ranked based on their total points in the game. You can join or leave a league with classic scoring at any point during the season. So fairly self-explanatory, you will receive a certain number of points every week. And over the season, those points just simply accumulate. So you might be, you might get 60 points in week one, get 40 points in week two, you're on 100 points. That's simple. Whoever has the most points at the end of the end of the season wins the league um so it's, a, it's fairly simple and um, that's the classic league type and as i said you can join that late as well or you can set up one of these leagues to start so if you've missed the first few weeks or anything you can set up a league to just start in week four or something that kind of thing if you want as well create a league and cup link uh, so you could select that or head to head scoring heading level three we've got head to head scoring and how that works is you have x number of players in the league and the system will match them up to play against each other to, in head-to-heads each week. So if you've got, say, 10 people in the league, you'll have five matches each week, five head-to-head -head matches each week. Whoever, in each pairing, whoever gets the most points that week win, wins the game and gets three points, like in the Premier League itself. Or if you get the same number of points, which could happen, you'll get a point each, like a draw. And whoever loses that matchup gets uh, loses and gets no points for that week. So you have kind of a more traditional football league table. Um, so that's an interesting way to play as well. And of course, you can you can be in both of these league types. Um, I've created a um, a VIP league, a visually impaired people a league, uh, and I'm going to share some uh, codes for those in the in the notes for this um, so that uh, hopefully people will uh, will join it and I've created a head-to-head -head one and I'm also going to create now a classic scoring one. Create a league and cup link. In a league of classics, create a league and cup link. Please think carefully before entering your league name. Leads with names that are deemed inappropriate or offensive may result in your account being deleted. Please refer to the terms and conditions of entry for more information. Okay, so you select a league name and as I said, uh, be careful what you choose. Scoring starts, game week one. Please, league name maximum 30 characters, text field. So we have a text field. Insertion point at end. So I'm going to call it. Cap C. Cap V. Cap v, v. Shift. Cap I. Cap I. Shift. Cap P. Cap P. P space. So space. V I P. People. Shift. And we'll call it. Cap S. Super Cap S. U. U. P. P. E. E. R. R. Shift. Cap L. Cap L. E. E. A. A. G. G. U. U. E. E. VIP Super League. League name maximum 30 characters. Text field is editing. VIP Super League. Please think carefully before entering your league. Scoring starts. Game week one. Pop-up button. And there we have scoring starts game week one. So like I say, if you if you wanted to start later, you can do that. Um, or if you're joining the game late, you can start in the new league late. Uh, you know, at a later starting from a later game week. So that's useful. In a league of classic scoring, teams are ranked based on their total point. The cup heading level three. You can also have a cup and that's kind of a knockout competition. So again, it's like the head-to-head -head league in the sense of you're matched up with one other player and whoever gets the most points wins but it's a knockout cup you can have that as well starting this season you can create a league cup how the cup works button create league cup tick box ticked i'm gonna untick that unticked i don't think we need a cup as well create button and i'm gonna hit create there is a cup in the general game as well that happens where i think the top four million or so players get put into a cup in the second half of the season so i'm gonna hit the create button create 
Leagues and cups. It's always sunny. Heading level two. Create a join new leagues and cup. Renew your leagues. Link. Create a join new leagues and cups. Now, Visited. So Link. I'm Address. Go. Fantasy. Dot print. Done. Button. I'm going to close this web view. Back to the Configure leagues by FPL. Ah. Button. Fixture difficulty rate. Rows 1 to 16 of 60. The page. Refresh. Rows 1 to 16 of 61. Transfers. Button. Okay. Fantasy okay. Premier. Rows 14 to 30. Go back down to the leagues. Help and rules. Button. Come Prizes. Back. Button. Configure leagues by FPL. Pri help. Follow up. Fantasy Premier League. But your leagues. Invitational Classic Leagues. Rank. League. Okay. So. VIP Super League. We've got the VIP Super League. There it is now. If I wanted to share this with you. Rank. Back. Button. VIP Super League. Share. Button. Share. I open it up. Play Fantasy Premier League and join my... The share button. And then... Close. Button. Play Fantasy Premier League and join my mini league. League code. App fed. Heading. So it... I can send an invite out to people if I want. Or I can... Words. Play. Fantasy Premier League and join my mini league. League. Code. App fed. App fed. Characters. Or I can just copy the league code here. A P F E D D. So that's Words. If you're watching. Fed. Character A P F. A -P -F Foxtrot. F e D D. E -D, Delta. D D is our mini league code. So if you went to that join league button that I showed earlier and entered that code, it will sign you into this league. And I hope people who are watching will do that. Dismiss pop up. It's always sunny. David Mason, back button. It's always sunny is my team name, by the way. Um, I'm a Spurs fan, and uh, Young Ming Son is probably my favorite player, great player. So, Sonny is uh, his nickname. It's always sunny. David Mason, back button. Uh, back. back and Follow at official FPL button. Fantasy your leagues in international invitational H two H leagues rank league VIP Super League head to head. I also have international Super League there. Um, Invit international VIP your leagues invit v international invitation VIP Super League head to head. And then we have the VIP Super League head to head version. So like I was saying, there's a, the other league version if you want to join this. Selected one as well. matches, but back button VIP Super Share button, share. Play fantasy close, but play fantasy free words. Play fantasy Premier League and join my mini league. League code nine IMP eight nine IMP characters. So the league code this time is nine I N November. 9-I-N P-8-H P-8-H So, as I say, please do join uh, those two leagues. Dismiss pop-up. Back go button. Back again, and this is where as well, of course, once the season has started, when you select these leagues in this section, that's where you'll see the Back leagues. button. Configure leagues. VIP Super League. International Super League. So you'll select the league and then you'll be able to see the, the current uh, the current standings, um, which of course is very useful. VIP Super League. So you know how you are doing. And um, there's a couple more. International Super well. Invitational H2H -H Leagues. VIP Super League Head to Head. Global Leagues. Rank League. So I mentioned how you've kind of got the more public ones and you've got these automatic leagues. So you've got the Global. Game Week 1. Overall. Where you get your overall ranking within the game. So if there's 10, 12 million people playing, you get to see where you are doing in the in the whole globe. Spurs. Spurs for me, because I'm a Spurs fan, I get a Spurs league. So however many, probably a few hundred thousand or whatever it might be, Spurs fans um, there are in the game that have selected Spurs as their favourite team. We'll all be automatically put into the Spurs league. Ireland. Similarly, I've selected Ireland as where I live and therefore I'm put into an Ireland league. Cup your matches. The cup, if uh, when it goes ahead in the new year, if I happen to be in the uh, in the qualifying places for that, I'll see that here as well. Cup has not started. Your team overview. Um, I'm going to come back to team overview in a moment. Rose six. Your leagues. In follow up. Help in rules. But prizes here. button. Configure leagues by FPL. Prizes button. So prizes. Um, if you want to go in here and just see what the prizes are in the game. To be honest, like the winner gets a lovely prize and that kind of thing, but millions of people playing the odds of winning any of these prizes are uh, fairly slim but uh, if you want to go in and have a look what they are go for it you just select that button help and rules button and they've got help and rules this is definitely a good place to go in progress choosing your initial squad heading level four if you're not quite sure and you can go into this section by the way before you've signed up or signed in and created your team uh, you don't have to be signed in to look at this section um so if you want to kind of familiar yourself familiarize yourself with how it works and um, that wouldn't be a bad idea can i have more than one team button heading you're new to us can i make changes to my squad is there a print friendly list of players i can view can i make changes to my can i have more than choosing your initial squad there's lots of uh 
questions answered. Right I have here. set up a team. I can sign in. Your Premier League. How can we help? Help. Heading T and C S. Rules. Link. But up towards the top, I was flicking left there, um, to get back towards the top of the screen. There are rules. Um, is a good link to select. Rules. Current page. Visited. Link. So again, this is um where you'll guess yeah, how, how the mechanics of the whole game. I won't go through all of it because it's quite it gets quite detailed, but I'll go through the, the basic rules and you can come in here, um, go to the help and rules section and then select that rules link and you'll find um, it yourself and you can have a read through. T and C S link rules heading level two. Selecting your initial squad button heading level five collapsed. How to select your initial squad, which I covered as the 15 players. Managing your squad button heading level five collapsed. Managing your squad is things like picking. So what you do is you pick 11 players each week. So out of your 15 players, and then the other four are on the substitutes bench. If one of your selected 11 doesn't play, then your substitutes will come in and replace them in the order that you've placed them on the substitutes bench um, so that you can at least recover some points. So then there's a whole lot of strategy around um, what, how many players you know how many top class players you pick within your budget and so on so um your squad your 11 players have to be made up you have to have at least one striker playing at least three midfielders and at least three defenders so it has to be a real football formation like 442 433 451 and so on and um, you can't play say five defenders five midfielders and no forwards you probably wouldn't want to do that anyway but uh, you can't even if you did transfers button heading level five collapsed way transfers work definitely come in and have a look at this section fully but essentially you get one what's called free transfer each week and what we mean by free is if you make more than the one transfer you will be docked four points for each additional transfer so if you make two transfers one is free and the second one will cost you four points make a third one it'll cost you eight points so that's how uh, the transfers work and then of course they have to be within your budget and players prices go up and down depending on demand so you might pick a squad in week one and the player does really well their their value will go up and you get half that value so if they if for example you buy a player for 10 million and their price rises based on demand to 12 million because everybody else who doesn't already have them is buying them their price rises to say 12 million it's unlikely to go up. That won't happen quickly. That would take all season probably, but um, this is just for a simple art, uh, simple example. You could sell that player for 11 million, basically. So, um, And similarly, a player's value can go down. So if you've bought a player for 10 million and they're really underperforming, maybe they've got injured, anything like that, everybody who has them is selling, then their value will go down, which means you paid more for them than you're going to be able to sell them for. So that's one of the main tactics of the game is not just having the right players at the right time but you know managing your budget as well but if you go into this transfer section you can find out full rules chips button heading level five collapsed chips is another interesting one so you get kind of these are like special plays you have so you have bench boost which is you get to play these that once in the, over the whole season so choose wisely that is when you're allowed to play all 15 players rather than just your first 11. You've got um, chips this. heading chips can be used to potentially only one chip can be played name row header co effect column head bench boost row two column so one the bench boost one I covered. effect the point name free hit row three column one free hit is where you get to make unlimited transfers for one week only so you can pick a whole new squad still has to be within your budget but you pick a whole new squad they are your team for one week and then the week after that your squad reverts to how it was before so that can be uh, useful if there's particular fixtures coming up effect make on name triple captain row four column one triple captain so uh, this is something we'd be talking about i would have been talking about later actually as well is when you're picking your starting team each week you pick a captain and your captain gets double points every week so um Again, that's another important part of the tactics of the game is picking the right captain each week. Triple captain, you get to pick again once per season. You get to use this triple captain chip. And instead of it being a double game, uh, double points, they get triple points. Effect, your name, wild card, row five, and column one. We have the wild card twice a season. So once in the first half of the season and once in the second half of the season, you can play a wild card. And this lets you make unlimited transfers without losing any points so like i was saying earlier 
normally speaking you get one free transfer and then you get docked four points for each additional transfer when you play a wild card you can make as many transfers as you like in that game week um but and yeah you get that twice a season so use it use one in the first half of the season use one in the second half of the season the other thing to know as well is around that the points and transfers is you can save up your free transfers up to but only up to two so if you don't make any transfers in game week one uh, and then you'll have two free transfers in game week two for example if you use the two of those or you'll be back down to one free transfer again the next week so you can accumulate up to two of those free transfers i.e the ones that don't dock you points so that's the basic overview of the rules but like i say come into this help and rules section and fully read it uh, particularly if you're new to the game i would definitely recommend that back button fpl emails your leagues invitational class v- in- invitation oh, vs global leagues game overall spurred ireland part of the cup your magic cup hat your team over weak points so yeah i get to you after you've gone past the leagues you get to your um team overview overall points <coughs> overall rank free transfers unlimited game week transfers made so it gives you information like how many free transfers, how many transfers you've made. Bank, two million pounds. Bank is two million pounds. So my current squad is worth 98 million. So I have two million left. So that's what that is. Team value, 98 million pounds. Team value, 98 million pounds. And of course that's relevant because like I say, players' values go up and down. So I might I start by having a squad worth 100 million. If they're doing really well, people are buying their those players their values are going up i could have my squad could be worth 102 million for example bench boost available and then it tells you which of your chips you have free hit unavailable triple captain available available and or played wild card unavailable tottenham hotspur and then it tells me information like which team i support so that's all of that kind of section rows 16 to 34 of 61 Rows 1 to 16 of 61. So back to the top of the page. And now I'm going to just show the transfers. And I'll show this in both the app and on the website in Safari. So what we've got is, and because this is very similar to how you'll pick your team originally as well. Mine is already done, but though uh, I've changed it all so that I'm not giving away my, my secrets, giving away my squad uh, in this video or this uh, audio. Pick team, button, transfers, button. Selected squad button. So I've selected transfers. And let's say you'll see a screen. You'll come to a screen just like this in uh, when picking your first squad as well. But then after that, this will be how you do transfers. You have unlimited transfers between if you're between now and the start of the season. So if you are um, if you are listening to this ahead of um, ahead of the start of the season, you have unlimited transfers until the deadline at the start of the uh, season list button free transfers list selected game week one deadline the 13th of august 2021 18 30. so there i got the information game week one deadline 13th of august 2021 at 18 30 so that's 6 30 p.m each week you'll see when the deadline is and that's really important to know you know if you wanted to make a couple of transfers um or one transfer or whatever it might be or change your captain change your starting 11 you need to make sure that you do all your changes each week before the deadline and that's one place in where you can find the deadline is in this transfers page selected squad button now it has selected squad list button and list so that's uh basically a view so the squad is where it shows a picture of the the team on a green background laid out in the formation that you're kind of playing them um well that's on pick team but for the squad it shows the two goalkeepers and then below that the five defenders and so on or list is just a direct list free transfers wild card and this is cost this is all information about you yeah, how many free transfers you have available and what your uh, what's in your bank and so on although it's read in a poor order it's reading all the titles bank unlimited unavailable zero and then it's reading the information after that. This is if you're swiping through the screen. Two million pounds. Goalkeepers. Pope, Burnley, form, goalkeepers. But yeah, yeah, you learn to, to understand that. So now we get to our goalkeeper. So I'm still in squad view here at the moment. 
and I get to say goalkeepers first. Pope, Burnley, form, 0, .0 current price, 5.5 .5 million pounds, selling price, 5.5 .5 million pounds, purchase price, 5.5 .5 million pounds, selected, 5.4%, GW, 0 points, total points, 144 points, ICT, 86.8, influence, 846.6, create, 20.0, threat, 2.0, GW trans in, 0, GW trans out, 0, bonus points, 20, GW1, Brighton, home, GW2, Liverpool, away, GW3, Leeds, home, button. So again, quite a lot of information in there. Um, it's similar to what we heard on the statistics screen earlier. It's giving you all of that information in one voiceover block. Um, of course, you can you can pause voiceover if you don't want to listen to it all. Um, but in this squad view, you can just swipe down through the whole squad. Seal, Brighton, Form, Defenders. Liquida, Chelsea, Shaw, Manot, Dio, West Ham, Bednarek, Southampton, Cast and Leicester, Midfielders, Heading, Sun, Spurs, Form, Sterling, Man City, Form, Current Price, Pope. Sometimes focus will do that. It'll just jump, jump back up uh, on you. Um, so sometimes it's easier just to explore. Jet Tyler Mans. 6.5 pounds. Saka. 6.5 pounds. And you get the idea. But I, like I said, I can also go to a list view. Game week one deadline. The 13th. Select list button. Selected list. So those options are just up very near the top. Form. So current price. Selling. Just explore and find the squad again. Pope. Burnley. Form. 0. .0 current price. 5.5 .5 million pounds. Seal. Brighton. Defenders, Azliquida, Chell, Shaw, Manot, Dio, West Ham. Four. So, as you can tell, it, it sounds very much similar, whether you're in squad or list view. Uh, from a voiceover perspective, you can swipe right down through the list, but visually or in just in terms of exploring the screen, you may find one or other easier to do. The list can be a little bit easier at times. Also, in terms of telling you if they're looking, who, yeah, certain pieces of information sometimes gets read slightly differently, but for the most part, you're getting the same information either way. It's just... Uh, a matter of preference. So, what Form. if Point I zero. Current wanted to change one of my defenders, for example? Dio, West Ham, Shaw, Manot, Form, Aspilicueta, Chelsea, Form. Just so I thought, okay, I'm not so sure about Aspilicueta, so what I'm going to do is sell him. Okay, so I will double tap. Button. And we get a pop-up. This pop-up um, is in the top half, even top third of the screen. The rest of the screen goes dark kind of behind it. The book, it is mostly accessible, but it can be a little bit um, awkward sometimes, the, the, the pop-up boxes um, within the squad. Uh, and you get some buttons that are kind of unlabeled. Caesar Asgillacueta, Defender. It tells me his name. So I had to kind of go exploring and that's the thing. So just explore around the top part of the screen and uh, not quite right at the top it's actually down probably an inch from the top of the screen as well but it's in that kind of top half roughly of the screen explore around and you find a piece of information like the name and then once you're in the box you can generally swipe left or right button 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 but i gotta get button button defender button button defender actually no it's cycling around while i'm swiping so i'm just gonna explore by touch below there form Point zero current price six million pounds selected three point four percent GW and it's giving me all that information again about them I can swipe right now full profile button full profile will get me into a more detailed uh, screen uh, with information about the player replace button and then I can select replace remove button or remove if I remove it'll just leave a blank space on the squad for the time being if I hit replace and then if I want to want to replace them I will just select them again but just replace select, button let's select replace replace back button so now this has brought up a list a little bit like the statistics screen that we saw earlier although it's only showing me defenders because i'm replacing a defender so i have a back button at the top left and then i'm going to go right from there add player heading so i've got to add player search button you can do a search if you know the name of the player you're looking for bank eight million pounds it tells me i've got eight million pounds in the bank because aspilicueta was worth six million and i already had two million in my bank so i've got eight million if i want it button that is an unlabeled button. select a player to compare um but i think it's just related to the search position heading def button so position is defender price heading so we've got price unlimited button and it by default it's unlimited so it's just showing me all the players and it shows them in order of value so what I'm going to do if I select it here. Affordable up button. A pop-up. Selected, unlimited, affordable button. You can select affordable. I think that's new. So that will just show you players who are within your budget. 
Selected unlimited button. Got unlimited luck save, which shows you all of the defenders. Ten million pounds button. And then you can mix the players up to ten million. Nine point five million pounds. Nine million pounds. Eight point five million. Eight million pounds. Seven point five million pounds. You get the idea. So it'll show you all the players up to whichever limit you set there. Selected unlimited um, for the affordable button. So this is just a way of organizing uh, the screen to make it easier to find the player you want to pick. So affordable so button. Let's pick affordable. Back button. So now that's filtered out the players I can't afford. Robertson, Alexander Arnold, Liverpool, form, point zero. Robertson, Liverpool, form, point zero. Current price, seven million pounds. Selected. Thir Say I wanted Robertson instead. I just double tap. Game week one deadline, the 13th of August 2021. Eight seal, Brighton, four seal, Brighton, form, point. And now go to my defenders. Shaw, Manot, Dio, West Ham, Shaw, Robertson, Liverpool, form. There he is. Robertson has replaced Aspilicueta. I'll just show you the other screen you can get as well. Shaw, Manot, Form, so, Dio, West Ham, Cap D, Diop, Delta. To sell him. Double tap. Replace button. If this time instead of hitting replace, I hit remove. Remove button. Remove. Shaw, Manot, Form, Dio, West Ham, Form. Point. So he's voiceover still reading as if he's in my team, even though I hit remove on him. But I wouldn't be able to continue and go you know and save my squad because he's actually not in my squad anymore and i have a blank space so i have to fill that blank space so I double tap on the up again close and i get another pop-up but it's a slightly different one restore player button you've got restore player so i said you know what actually i do want to keep the up after all i can simply select that or select replacement button select replacement select replace robertson and i'm back to where i was before with the list of players. Rose 12 to 28, Redylon, Spurs, Redylon, Spurs, Rose, Rose 7, Dio, West Ham, Form, Dummit, Newcastle, Knock, yes. Form, Game Week 1 deadline, First the 13th of August. Pick him. So, what will you do next? Selected, then, next step, button. Is right down the bottom right of the squad. Once you are happy with your squad, you select next step. Game Week 1 deadline. The As I say, that's right at the bottom right corner of the screen. And you'll then get taken to a screen which gives you an overview of the transfers you're planning to make. Transfer out, transfer in, transfer out, transfer in. And again, the order voiceover reads in can be a little sketchy at times, but it's fine generally. Aspilicueta, Chelsea, Robertson, Liverpool. So I'm replacing Aspilicueta of Chelsea with Robertson of Liverpool. Diop, West Ham, Dummett, Newcastle. With Diop of West Ham, and replacing Diop of West Ham with Dummett of Newcastle. Transfers will be active for game week one if made before the deadline. So it tells me they'll be active for game week one. Points overview. Free transfers used. And then the points. So this is critical again. If I'm making multiple transfers in a game week where I am limited to only one or limited to only two free ones, it'll tell me. Two. So I'm making two transfers. Additional transfers used. Zero. Zero points. Additional transfers used. Zero. So I'm making two free transfers. No additional ones because there are no limits ahead of game week one, of course. Left in bank. One million pounds. One million pounds in the bank. Button. Button. Wildcard unavailable. There are some unlabeled buttons there. Free hit unavailable. Um, this is where you would select your wildcard or your free hit if you wanted to play them. Uh, so wildcard unavailable. It's currently unavailable because the game hasn't started yet, but it, that would be available and I would double tap it. Free hit unavailable. Similarly with the free hit, if I want to play my free hit, I double tap there. Edit transfers. Um, edit. Confirm. Or I can confirm. Confirm. So I'm going to hit confirm. If I edit, of course, it'll just go back and let me do it all over again. Uh, if I hit confirm. Confirm. Game week one deadline, the 13th. My squad is saved, and it actually automatically takes me into the pick team screen. Back button. I'm going to go out of that for a second. Back. I'm just going to pop Trans over to Safari and have a look at the web version of the squad. The journal, PL, for the football. Safari. Use your budget of 100 million pounds to pick a squad of 15 players from the Premier League. So this is fantasy.premierleague.com and you sign in with those same credentials and you will be on this mostly accessible website as well, um, at least using uh, using the iPhone. Transfers, visited, link, pick team, home, so current fantasy, heading level one. If you find the heading level one fantasy and then swipe right, you'll get the main navigation area. Home, current page, visited, link, home. list start, landmark. Right. Pick team, visited, link. Pick team, which will be coming to in a little bit. Transfers, visited, link. Transfers. More, button. More, um, where if you go into more, that's another place you can go and do what we did with managing the leagues and so on. Works very similarly. And in fact, if you remember when we were creating a league, it actually took us here in the first place. That's, you know, it opened a web view and took us here. So 
Um, there's no need to go back in there, but if we go transfers, transfers visited link. Fantasy heading level one main landmark player selected 15 slash 15 money remaining 1.0 game week one Friday the 13th of August 18th 30 468 players shown one of 16 468 players shown one of 16. That's not voiceover so it's a bit chattery but it's giving us largely the same information. Player got, list but just speaking it in a slightly different way but uh, it's the same as the app. Really. Select a maximum of three players from a single team or game week one deadline heading level three. So it was telling us we can select a maximum of three from one player or from one team. Colon, heading left Friday, the 13th of August. There's our um, deadline again. You can make unlimited free transfers before the game week one deadline. So again, we're getting all that information on the website. You actually get probably more of it on the website than you do in the app. Auto pick dimmed button. There's that auto pick button I mentioned. So if you've got blank spaces in your squad, whether you haven't filled any of your players out yet, or you know, all 15 are free, and you'll have this when you're first setting up your squad, you can just select that auto pick and then you can go, okay, I'll, I'll go from there or I'll come back and finish my squad later. That auto pick button can be useful because you can't save and move on until you have all 15 selected. So that's why that auto pick can be useful. Or like say, if you're just not quite sure who you want to pick. Reset, dimmed, button. Reset, if you've made changes, you can select reset. Players selected, heading level three. And then we get to my players. 15 slash 15. 15 of 15 are selected. Money remaining, heading level 1.0. So that's the same as bank in the other in the app um, it's called money remaining in the website pitch view link and then we've got pitch view which is the same as squad view that we had in the app list view link and list view which is the same brighton seal 4.0 button and then we've got the brighton player bernie pope 5.5 button and as you'll see it's not reading that huge trench of information about everything you need to know about the player it's just telling us the player's name and their price it's not telling us anything else. brighton seal 4.0 button um, which you may or may not like. You might like having all that information just automatically read to you, or you might prefer this, where it's just reading the name. And if I want to know more about the player, close the button. Tap, and I get a pop up in bang in the middle of the screen. The pop up. Remove player button. But voiceover focus in this case is a bit better than it was in the app. It actually is going into the um, into the window. View information button so and Jason view. Seal web dialog. We've got view information button. Remove player button. The remove player button. close button remove view in vertical scroll bar six pages we don't have the replace button so it works again a little bit different view information to the app so if i'm gonna view information first close button again opens up another window pound sign 4.0 tsb heading 1.9 percent ict rank for goalkeepers influence 38 of 53 so again, a lot of uh, information we can also see is fixtures. If I'm going to touch further down the screen. Newcastle Gale 5.5, 0, row 2, call page 3 of 7, threat, heading level, this data will appear here, previous seasons, heading level 3, data will, this season, heading level 3. Uh, where I can get fixtures and results. Fixtures, link, history, link, Under history. 492, so history, fixtures link. fixtures, link, fixtures, link, then the information below. Date, Saturday, the 14th of August, 15th. Row two, column G W one opponent B U R column three. So this screen can be really useful, um, and sometimes feels a bit tidier than it does in the app, and a bit easier to manage than it does in the app. Um, it's just which you prefer, or which you find easier to explore. Page two of seven. Page one of seven. Jason. Jason Steele. Slash link back to top menu item. Cookie policy menu item zero. Close button. And then up near the top right, almost in the top right, we have a close button. Asia trophy menu item. PL music on PL copyright from your lead to PLU page six of seven selected latest page five of page four page three page two of page one of seven focus has uh, taken me right down into the the footer of the web page page one of six right to the top again. colon heading level game week one deadline auto pick reset player 15 slot money remaining one point pitch view list view link so right Bernie Pope 5.5 button right and seal 4.0 so button let's pick this player again close button and again, we have that pop-up in the middle. Remove player button. This time I'm going to select remove player. Steal 4.0 button. Steal has been removed from your squad. Player selected. 14 slash 15. Money remaining. 5.0. No, I can Liverpool Robertson 7.0. Steal 4.0 button. Similar to before, it's still, voiceover still reading as if the player is there. Bernie Pope. Steal 4.0 button. It's not saying, you know, blank space or something, which would be nice. Obviously, before you've picked your squad in the very first place, there will be blank spaces. But once you've had a player there, it calls them by their name even when you remove them but i'm going to double tap on them close button 
Select replacement button. And now I can select replacement. View information, but select okay. replacement button. View information. Restore player, but select replacement button. Or restore player. So same options as you had in the app when you selected on a player where you have a blank space where you removed them. So select replacement button. Select replacement. Steal for back button. 47. Player shown. One of view. Goalkeepers. Pop up button. Now on this one, you can do a little bit more in terms of how you organize the list. So back button. Look at the back button. And then view device. goalkeepers. Pop up button. So we're viewing goalkeepers, obviously, because we're, we're looking for one. Sorted by total points. Pop up button. Now we've got sorted by total points. We didn't have this in the app. It was in the app. It's sorted by value. And there doesn't seem to be with voiceover anyway, a way to change the sorting order we did have that in the statistics section within the app but within the transfers area of the app we didn't have that option total points so button i'm going to open that and then round points but selected total points button so round price button price instead of total points for example sorted by price view goalkeepers view goalkeepers pop up sorted by price search Sur max cost max cost between 4.0 and 6.0 6.0 pop up button and then again we have this um limiter so we can choose 6.0 button dismiss contact four points dismiss dismiss context menu dismiss context menu dismiss context menu 5.5 selected selected 6.0 5.5.4.5 button and in this case it's only showing me what i can afford downwards it's not showing me like unlimited and affordable it's just showing me automatically what i can afford 5.0 button if i want to limit it even further and say i want somebody for even less than what i have in my bank 41 players show view goalkeepers it will do that. So Sorted by five. Search. Search. Search the max cost. Max cost 41. Players shown. Goalkeepers. Pound sign. Star star. View player in Goalkeepers. Arsenal. Pound sign. 5.0. Column. Goalkeepers. Arsenal. And we SGKP. Column 2. Button. So 2 yeah, of 1. This is one of the downsides is how it actually reads the player name. So I'm going to go to the next player. Pound sign. 5.0. Column. Star star. 5.0. Co view player information. Row 3. Goalkeepers. Chelsea. Here is about logic. GKP. Column 2. Button. So 3 of 1. It's reading Chelsea. And the keeper's name <laughs> and where they're from and some other information so it's a bit messy close button add player button and then when i select them though i get another box that pops up i select add player chelsea player list button uh, game week one auto pick dimmed button my squad page two of seven so that's the transfers on this so in some ways it's nicer because you can reorder the the list you have more options for how the how the list is actually ordered but the way voiceover is reading that those player names isn't great that may change over time but at time recording that's how it is anyway page one of seven we can go back to the app app switcher pl active pl and just show you pl picking your team so once you've got your squad in place you then want to pick your team for the pick team week. button game week one deadline and as i say you may have looked at the fixtures to see to help you uh, with who you're going to choose this week. Bah, H. Bah, Pope. So in this, you don't get as much information read to you. This is back in the app, remember, and I've selected pick team on the main fantasy screen. So we're going to go Pope is my goalkeeper. Bah, H. And then a swipe right, and it says Bah, H. Now I'm going to go explore by character. Describe images, characters, cap B, cap H, cap A, okay, alpha. B H A was what Bah was, um, and that's Brighton Hove Albion is... The team they're playing against so that's telling me who they're playing this week space left bracket cap h right bracket and then in brackets h for home so that'll be either h or h for home or a for away robertson then we've got robertson who i know plays for liverpool nor a and he's playing it's nor a so that's n o r norwich away so again we have our abbreviations if i said okay shaw lee h damn it i don't want this guy to play I'm going to double tap button and it brings up again that screen very similar to the transfer page where it brings up the little screen form point zero current price um, so for the little window near the top of the screen and we're just going to you need to explore the screen a little bit with your finger rather than just rely on flicking around full profile button substitute button but you've got a full profile button if you want more information and we've got substitute so this is what we want so i want to change them for another player selected substitute and extends the screen down so now towards the bottom half of the screen you'll have the players who he, who can come in for him form points bukai osaka midfielder tip form point zero bukai osaka form point zero bukai osaka midfielder form point zero dwight gale forward and then you can form bukai osaka form timothy past and defender 
Let's so just say I want another defender. Confirm button. I select him and that confirm button. That's actually not to confirm just this change, but it's to actually confirm any changes you've made. So um, I can hit confirm here. button. Back Page button. refreshes and now my team is selected. So that confirm button is in the top right of the screen. It appears anytime you've made changes to your starting lineup. And then uh, you can select that to save those changes essentially. Um, the other thing you want to do in here is pick your captain. Tot A. Tot A. Sterling. Son. So just say I want Hyung and Son to be my captain. So as I said earlier, captain gets double points in, for every game week. So you can pick a new captain each week or you can keep the same captain. That's up to yourself. But you, you choose your captain each week. So that's another reason why it's good to be on top of who's playing who. So I'm going to select Son here. Button. And we get that box near the top. And this time we're looking for the captain, vice captain information. Midfielder. So I've just found um, midfielder there near, in the middle of the box. Button, button, button. Midfielder. Button, button, button. That's not Form, point zero, so just current price. Touch a little down further below Form, that. substitute, button. Okay, find the substitute button. I'm going to go left from there. Form, spurs, button, button, spurs, button, button, button spurs. Button, 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 substitute, full, selected, button, captain. Okay, it's actually right from there. So if you find those substitute and more information buttons, swipe right. Select captain. Selected, button. It says selected button. Captain. Captain. Selected, button. Selected button. Vice captain. So this is quite poor with voiceover, but once you know, it's fine. So you can hit. Selected, captain. The button before whichever word. So selected, button. If I want him to be my captain. Captain. I find button just to the left of where it's the voiceover says cap selected button so selected button captain confirm button and that's selected him believe it or not and then I hit confirm. back button so now Son a. is my captain war cry h werner and for example sterling if I want sterling to sterling my vice captain and what vice captain is is if i have picked son as my captain but he then doesn't play so he gets injured or the manager rests him Rather than me then not having a captain on the pitch, I can also have nominated a vice captain. So Sterling would replace him as my as my captain for that game week. So I'm going to button. set him as my vice captain. Selected button. So Selected but substitute button. Again, I'm just looking for those buttons, and that is the tricky part of it. I hit substitute, or I don't hit substitute, but I found that button. I go right. Full profile button. Selected button. So again, it's saying selected button. Captain. Selected button. Vice captain. Okay, there's vice captain, so I'm going to swipe left from the words vice captain. Selected button. Uh, find that button, double tap. Confirm button. Hit confirm. Back button. And son, MCIH. Those are selected. Now, son, I'm in the squad view at the moment and it's not confirming to me, or at least voiceover is not reading out who is my captain, who is my vice captain. Selected squad. If I go to list view, list button. Selected list. Bednarek, Southampton fielders. midfielders. Son, Spurs, Captain, Form, Point Zero, Sterling, Man City, Vice Captain, Form. So it's saying who is the captain, who is the vice captain. So if you want to make sure that you have set the captain or vice captain that you've intended to, um, go into list view and just make sure. You might again, as I say, prefer it anyway to the squad view for, for checking your, your team. If you then... Pick team, heading. Say, press the confirm button in the top if you haven't made any further changes. Game pick team, heading. Um, but they have been saved now, so I'm going to go back. Back button. Back. Transfers button. And I'm just going to quickly take a look at that screen within the uh, website. App switcher. Safari. Active. Players. Three. Colon. Heading. Click. Link. Fantasy. Heading level one. So main. Again, landmark. That heading one fantasy. And then I'm going to go. Home. Right. Visited. Link. List. Pick team. Visited. Link. And pick team. Pick team. Heading level two. Game week one. Friday the 13th of August, pitch you, link, to change your captain, use the menu, which is called Friday the 13th of August, 18th, 30. So again, it's giving me the, that deadline information. To change your captain, use the menu, which appears when clicking on a player. And it tells me that I can change my captain, so. Burnley Pope, B-H-A-H, -H, button. Again, just say I want to change my goalkeeper here, I've got Burnley Pope, and again, it's reading the player names a little strangely. Burnley Pope, B-H-A-H, -H, button, man up, jolly, H, button. So what it's doing is reading. Burnley Pope, B-H-A-H, -H, button. Burnley which is the, player, the team he plays for, Pope, which is his actual name, B-H-A-A, -A, which is what we said earlier, that's the fixture, which is Brighton, the whole Albion away, or home, sorry. So 
uh, again, I think it's a little bit easier to read and understand in the app, but you might like this either. Um, that's up to yourself. It's always sunny. List view, pitch view, link to change or captain pitch view to change Friday the third list view link. Or you can go to the list view. List view link. Starters: Bernie Pope, Liverpool, Robertson, L I V D E F, row three. And you'll see it's doing the exact same thing. Bernie Pope, Bergie. In terms of how voiceovers reading it, but again, from a navigational point of view, you may have a preference. So, I'm going to select Pope. Close button. Again, it brings up a pop up in the middle of the screen. Switch button. We've got switch, so that's to change to a different player. So that's like the substitute button in the app. Make captain button. Make captain. Make vice captain button. Make vice captain. So that bit is much cleaner than it was in the app. I just have make captain. Make captain. Make vice captain. captain. View information button. And view Nick Pope web dialog. Which again will bring up more uh, data a bit. Make vice captain. Make captain button. So just say I want to make him switch button. Switch with. The other Bernie Pope, Bergie, KP, row two, column, Lester Cast and Laydef, Southampton, Bednarek, S O U D E F. So I select switch and I then go Page to two find of the player on the substitutes bench that I want to replace. Under. Play button, substitute, Arsenal, Saka, Newcastle, Gale, UFWD, row five, Arsenal, Saka, R S M I D, Newcastle, Gale, UFWD, Arsenal, Newcastle, Dumb, New Def, row five, Brighton, CLB, H A G K P, row two, column three, button, two of one. So I'm going to select him. Close button. And again, it brings up a pop up. Switch button. View information button. Switch close button. Switch button. Newcastle, Gale, UFW, Arsenal, Saka, ARS, MID, row four, page one of eleven, starters, Liverpool, Robertson, LIVD, Brighton, CLB, GKP. He's in my starting lineup. If I wanted to make Man up, Sean Mundef, row four, Liverpool, Robertson, LIVD, EF, row three, column three, button, three of one. So again, it says Liverpool, Robertson, a bit hard to understand, but if I know who that is and I want to make him my captain, close button, select, make captain, button, and just say Liverpool, Robertson, LIVD, EF. It's always sunny, heading level two. That's button saved. collapsed menu it's always sunny friday the 13th of starters page two of the left save your team button then in this case the save changes button is below the team so it's not quite in the bot it's bottom right below the team but it's not the bo very bottom right of the entire web page so substitutes newcastle Gale, new FWD, substitutes. Play button so if you go down through the list of your squad and then save your team button Click right from the last player in your squad, you get to save your team. So double tap. Save your team. Dimmed. Your team has been saved. And it's saved. So a little bit different to the app, as, as I say, some in some ways the app offers better accessibility and in some way and functionality, and in some ways the uh, website does. So it's completely up to yourself which one you use. But between the two, you can certainly play this game very accessibly. And I definitely PL active like I said, transfer we've now got fantasy premier league draft rose 14 to follow our official fantasy free your league leagues. VIP super league do join the VIP mini, uh, super league In invitational H2H -H. VIP super league head to the VIP super league head to head and um, I showed those codes earlier and I will put them in the notes as well if you do want to join in the game and like say set up your own leagues or join your friends and family's leagues and enjoy the game thanks for watching and listening and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.